Good morning, Tahmina Khan is here in TK Maths is fun. In today's video, we will solve a question on transformation of graph. And at the same time, I will revise the concept of all the six forms of transformation of graph, right? In this question, there are three uh, transformations given to you. This is a recent question taken from March 2023, A-level maths, right? P1. So the main function f of x is given to you here. If you see here, it's here, right? In this function, question is saying a sequence of transformation is applied mean one transformation after the other transformation and in the following order so first of all this transformation you will apply which is a stretch parallel to the x-axis with the scale factor half and then after that you will apply reflection in the y-axis and then you will apply a stretch parallel to the y-axis with the scale factor 3 so if you know the rules then this question is very easy for you so let's go through the rules first and then we will come back to the question. Okay. So like in the given question, there are six, three rules, but altogether there are six in the syllabus. So I'm going through all so that you are able to solve all type of question in this context. So number one thing is, if it is given for the function f of x, right? If it is x plus a, just give me a minute. Okay. So if it is x plus a, you know what does it mean? The main graph, which is f of x, will move or shift it to the left horizontally, right, by constant a. So if a is 2, it means the main function or main graph f of x will move to the left. If it is minus a here, for example, like this, then it will move to the right. If you see this, f of x plus a this means vertical movement if it is plus a graph will go a unit up if it is minus a graph will go a unit down okay now let's see this in this case if it is minus times f of x i'm talking about point three minus f of x which means the original graph f of x will be reflected in the x-axis. If it is f of minus x, then original graph will be reflected in the y-axis. We will see three I just told you in this question, right? Then comes a times f of x. Now, your main function f of x is multiplied by a. What does it mean? It means it is a stretch with factor a in the y direction. So, this reflects that there will be a stretch in the y direction. Now, what do you do in that case? If the graph f of x is given to you, then the main points of the function f of x, you just multiply all the y values by the constant a and keep the x values as it is you will get new points and you will plot them right now see this one this is f of a x what does it mean it means now there will be a stretch with factor 1 over a in the x direction the moment you will look at a times f of x, you will understand there is a stretch parallel to y-axis. When you will see f of a of x, it means the stretch is along the x-axis. But in this case, what does it mean? All the x values of the graph will be divided by this constant. And y values will remain the same. So now let's see in the question what does it mean. And I will show you. Um, a sketch also for better understanding. Now look at this question. So the function given to you here is f of x is equals to x square minus 2x plus 5 for all x belongs to real value r. When it says stretch parallel to the x-axis by factor 1 over 2, 
it means now question is talking about this right we have just seen that if your function is f of x and you are stretching parallel to the x axis by scale factor 1 over a it means this is your function now so i will apply 2x in place of x throughout okay so this will give me 4x square minus 4x plus 5 so first transformation i have applied because i have to get at the end the equation in this form and i will call it g of x after applying all the three transformation now reflection in the y axis so do you remember what does it mean it means in your original function f of x you will do like this right this means reflection in the y axis so now what will i do in the same graph i will write minus 2x instead of this so this was my f of 2x 2x right so now i will just write down minus in place of plus x okay so now it will become 4x square plus 4x plus 5 So now you have done reflection in the x-axis. Now you have to apply the third case, which is stretch parallel to the y-axis with the scale factor three. Now this means that you will multiply the function by minus, or oh sorry, by three. Wrong, right? because the question was saying in the same sequence. So that's why I am applying the third one in the last. So I'll multiply this whole thing. by 3 this whole function right so my equation will become 12x square plus 12x plus 15 so i can call this function as my g of x and this is what question was saying give your answer in this form so i hope you understood it please press like and subscribe button and one more thing i want to tell you here just give me a second yes here it is before you go i drew you can see the um, equations here step wise which i have shown in the above part the color is red the original function the sketch is here this red one you can see this is sketch here original function after that you applied a stretch along the x direction in which the factor was 1 over 2 sorry not a 1 over So now this is your blue graph, which is here. So you see, I told you all the x values will be divided by two here. So let me pick up any one value. For example, this is one. X value is one. When I divide it by two, it is half. So you see, this x value here is half. So this is what I said. That when you are stretching along x direction, you divide all the x values of the original function by the denominator of the scale factor then the third second step was reflection in the y axis so if you look at blue and green graph they are reflection of each other in the vertical line which is y axis then the last one was stretch along the y direction by scale factor 3 and what does that mean that you multiply all the y values all the y values of the graph by the stretch factor which was 3 so if you see just pick up any point for example for example let's pick up this one green one okay this x point if you see is exactly same as here this purple graph is your final last graph so here the y value was 4 4 3 is a 12 so it is on 12 now you can see here see so this is what i was talking about and i have used which program here desmos so on your um, internet web address you can write desmos and you can also check your graphs here okay so thank you very much for watching this video please press like and subscribe button and share it with your friends thank you